where are the jobs? We have a democratic dividend in our country. We have the highest democratic dividend in the world since the golden time that India has. Where are the jobs for our youths who are coming out of colleges and universities? Where do we get employment? It is the startup ecosystem that can generate the employment that the government of India cannot. So this is very vital that we follow the startup rate. But one point of uh, caution over here is we, uh, we can have a discussion on the other side also. Where, how is the startup system being fueled? Where is the money coming from? It's coming mostly from abroad. And there is certain uh, situation where uh, interest rates somewhere in the United States have gone down and uh, so I, 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 I uh, partially, I partially disagree with when you talk about right. the industry. Right. Just adding my, my experience here. I went to the retail sector and have seen many companies who start up in terms of going to the manual companies. If you talk about the name of the good companies, you know when you view about the cardeco.com, okay. it started by Amit Jain and Anwar Jain, the two brothers. Before they start this company, they start up around, around if I am not wrong, 35 different companies in the field. If I back, I met them both of them. You know about Vishal Mega Mart, V Mart, City Mart, it's all come from the single company and all of them are the brothers. I have seen this company, how they grew. All of them are failed in the initial so stage. So just one second. So failure is a part of the learning. Yeah, right. Yes. Yeah. But you know, when you fail, you learn. You fail, you learn. Then you understand that is what we call the experience. And this experience normally helps to grow to the actual in the business. When you talk about in terms of you know the funding, this car because companies bought a car because companies would be one of the percent stake comes from the Tatas. We have lots of the investors in the country. They want to spend the money there, but, but they want good entrepreneurs who can run the business. They yeah, have the opportunity, but they we have the opportunity to grow your company and the economy is expanding at the same time. It's a very personal choice. We are willing to do it, and you should, failures should not stop you. But at the same time, the important aspect is if you leave your time to fire, <laughs> would that impact your overall growth or journey that you want to take? Will that impact your growth or journey? Yes, that's a famous quote called paranoid and surprise. Right? So we all need to take calculated things. What we are doing here? In the job, probably the safe environment, right? Or their stake is very high, you can't take this. But we use the Toastmaster Club. Right, to experiment, to talk. So here we are taking calculative things. So that the spirit has to be there. Not everyone can be entrepreneur. Not everyone has jail to become subscribe. But I basically a couple of points. I think we we see that malpractices happen only in startup. That's not true. We have saw big name they, how they manipulate their data without putting their name. Right. So it's 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 basically not linked to startup. Of course, it depends on basically the particular individual, the value it belongs. When you become big corporate rather than one individual, like public, if it's public listed company, multiple shareholder, they won't see. And startups, they are yeah, so that the advantage this startup has that it is individually or two three founders driven, right? Value they bring. But of course, if they want to be successful long term, they need to think about long term purpose. They can't think about short term. So your size. I was saying that because you need that your time to have job, that puts put you put you in an extra pressure situation when you say other companies. Very good point. So people have seen that would have financial backing. That's why if you see Sweden, why their education system is very famous. Because in Sweden. What happened? They are financially stable. It's kind of socialist country, right? So that's why they are they encouraged because even though they fail, the kind of money support they have, that can support. In India, we didn't have. I, I completely agree, but I think a friend wanted to say something. So uh, I would like to re-emphasize the point that I discussed previously, as also mentioned by Tanmay, that, that uh, like it's about personal decision, uh, about his risk uh, taking capacity of a person. And as I mentioned, like uh, living 9 to 5 job is only makes sense if you have a perfect solution in mind. Uh, for a problem, you have a problem and you have a solution. If you are at that level, then that is the right time for a person to so leave a job and starting a venture. So I disagree with you that, that uh, if you have you have good idea, only then you can success. You can learn if you are not successful, but it depends on your how much risk you can take. No, it's you have to learn. It's not about success or failure that we finish. It's not about success or failure. 
I am saying like uh, at least when you are taking a decision of leaving your job when you are earning enough for your family, you are taking a decision to leave it and uh, doing something, you should have to have at least in mind like you are solving something or without you are just jumping like I have to starting a venture, I am not doing this job. This kind of decision might uh, be risky considering the stats of uh, startup he already mentioned about the lot of startup seniors here. Yeah. Uh, so what I want to say is start. making a startup or an entrepreneurial journey not necessarily means solving a problem. It can be that there is a problem and there are existing players in the market who are getting in to compete with them. That is also an entrepreneurial journey. Somebody has like we have CSVC and Zomato in the same uh, market sector. Right. So uh, and one more thing that we talked about GDP also over here. What contributes to the GDP? Is it the blue chip companies? Many of the time you see a significant contribution to GDP coming from small businesses, small enterprises, those are all startups. In the United States, 52% of the GDP comes from uh, this uh, not blue chip, but small companies, small and medium enterprises. In uh, India, we don't have that different statistics because there is a parallel economy that goes cash-based economy and there are uh, businesses that are surviving on just uh, local India markets and those things. This is I think I have to say that actually your point is you said that many contributions comes from the lot of blue chips company in India. Um, 40 percent, 45 percent contributions comes from the SMEs, small and medium enterprises. I'm not against a job, I'm doing job a last 15 minutes. I want to start up the business to be entrepreneurs. My only learning, so let's summarize this, my only learning is you have to be in job to get the experience, knowledge and create your network and after you know PDTA or 5 years when you think you are ready, when your mind is ready, you have a backup and you think you can do, then you proceed to basically to entertain a startup business. I think don't let it be different. Let me finish one by one. So yeah. this is what my uh, conflicts from the mind. I, I believe in a balance, balance system like you say. It's not always a first mover advantage. 
It's not always you have to speak first so you really get the. He came third or fourth, right? But he made his point, right? And that is what I want to tell you. That supposing nothing comes to your mind, but you are actively listening to this, and then when your turn comes, you can say, okay. Based on the discussions we made, there are three important points which are really emerging from our discussion. Now you have not added any value, but you use other points and say, one is this, second is this, third is this. So this is the theme emerging from our discussion at this point. I just would like to add one point into this. Now you used other points and you really added. So what you did was wonderful that way. Okay. And second point. You threw very good data point, but one thing we have to be extra careful about, whenever we use data point, never think that people who are interviewing are fools. They may have some data points about the economy, and if at all you throw some raw data point, you may be caught also. You may be asked, what is the source of this data? My information is, this is what the GDP growth is. Right, your data point is wrong, and there possibly you may lose credibility. Also, yeah, that's right. Go yeah, and two things which really stood out. No, but three things which really stood out for me was <coughs> the learning which we did from the previous one. I did not see negative body language here. All of you were quite interested. People were. I think the most interested person was uh, <coughs> Gramo was sitting here and leaning forward and talking to each one individually. So I think that was the best part, the body language. And then I saw Tanmay. He was using hand gestures very well. So he was talking, whenever he was talking about uh, micro level, macro level, the hand gestures which were coming from Tanmay were up. So I think these are the two points which really stood out very well. And last point, it is not how much air time you take that matters, right? The moment you start taking more air time, it will start going negative. That is what is trying to dominate. So after making two to three points, and the art of you know, like I mean, curling that I know more is that I have few more points to add, but let us give chance to her. Are you getting my point? Even if, but if at all you start to more and more time, that means you do not want to allow anybody to dominate, and possibly that might be your basic nature that everywhere you will try to dominate. So that may happen. Okay, but otherwise I am not pointing at you. That is a wonderful point. So sometimes we may have to give chance to others, and that shows your broadness, your bigness. Yeah, and that's what that's what we learned from Pramod today. He was mentioning, he, I think he mentioned three times. One to looking the over the user, he was saying something. Then again, he said over the user to Prithvesh. Uh, so I think he was trying to get into that zone where he was not only putting his point across, he was also asking others view. Yeah, and did you see? We can entire audience to make out who the guys are going to select. Can you would you agree with that? Some of the guys you would not have selected. Would you all agree with that? Right? It happens. So the people who feel that maybe I will not get selected, they have to be more dominating in the decision. That's the last one. Right? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Storytelling, body language has a significant role. 
significant work. Your body should speak, right? Second is voice modulation, and third is content, right? So all the three are important, but maximum weighted is the body language, and she was wonderful in body language. Her content was excellent, and in public speaking, one of the elements which is important is the use of language. And in public speaking, when you prepare your content, you should use rhetorical devices. Do you know what is rhetorical devices? Some of you, sir? Yeah, so these are like the drives, alliteration. Drives, alliteration. So she used one. And that was, you know, beggars are not choosers. So when you decorate your content <laughs> with good language, it creates its own impact, right? So emotions, body language, Excellent content with rhetorical devices are some of the very, very positive things I observed. And Aparna as such is a seasoned speaker. You can see so many positive. She really involved herself. She even involved audience. Do you agree? Yes. A good public speaker always involves audience. There are few areas where she needs to work on. Any speech has to be divided into three parts. Clear opening, clear body, and clear conclusion. Opening and conclusion were very important. Possibly you could not build the context and you abruptly end it. That is one. And second, always look at the audience where you are. There is a noise of the fan, there are people sitting at the moment. So, in voice modulation, if at all I have to deduct marks, I will deduct marks only in voice modulation. Where? Because your some sentences were tapering to the extent that the person at the last cannot listen to. Right? So, your voice. Speech should be such that should be adjusted to the size of the audience and the noise which is there. Supposing there is no mic, half of the audience may not be able to listen. So your sentences should not temper in end. Even if it tempers, your voice modulation is important. Even if it tempers, it should be audible to everyone. But otherwise, you have always been a great speaker. I love to listen to you all. Thank you so much. So he conveys that yeah, I am speaking to a person I am standing over there. 
so that dramatic move also so that we will if you look out how the entire is we you can find out the objective that speaker has selected person whenever you are speaking or uh, delivering the speech you go back i don't know you go back for a moment then you get to know like i have gone back so you have come in front also so that is where some way it's all it feel like you are getting nervous at that moment in between like two to three minutes of your speech you are taking a quote <coughs> but at the same time you have come back also and second is the eye contact i was sitting over there i saw that you are just speaking to that over there that you miss out this left over part So that is the two points. You have to work on it. You are in the eye contact with the entire audience, so that all the speaker from left to the right get engaged. That's it for my side. So we have a wonderful evaluation by Coach Master Abhishek, and next I will be calling the tag team for today. Uh, the Grammy and Coach Master team.
your fellow WhatsApp. Uh, second thing, uh, you can modulate your uh, speech. Like you can slow down or maybe you can take, uh, you can work on your uh, speed. So in that way, you, you can be uh, take less. I'm not actually I'm not good in it. <laughs> I take a lot of pauses, <laughs> but still I'm trying. So I can I can use these techniques. Second, so, third one is you can practice, and fourth is uh, know your point, like what you wanted to communicate. If you're clear enough, you will end up using less pauses and less fillovers. So I'm here, I am with the report. So for, uh, for the group discussion, I was not able to uh, analyze it because I was the part of it. So I have skipped that part and apart from it, I have uh, evaluated the speech as well as evaluation and the rules. So I want to start with the speech. Uh, I want to start with the Ponda. I think she was flawless. So what I have done differently over now is I have compared the report, current report, to the previous report. Right. So in the last report you were flawless. Uh, in the in your current speech you are almost and you use two times all himself. Otherwise uh, the speech was all all good. And speech number two that was for, from Gora in the last evaluation of uh, our student. So it was so two time and two time. I, I think you have uh, improved a bit. You have only used and two times other. And other than this, your speech was uh, good. So you are improving. Coming to evaluation Abhishek, the most used word for Abhishek is so and the. You use a lot of time. The. There are a, a lot of places where it is not required to use the the but you use it a lot, so you can improve uh, on that area. Second is, so. Um, coming to Bakul sir, for evaluation, you use so two times. That's that's all. And I tried to compare it with the last reports, it was almost the same. For grammarian Piyush, we use so four times, a uh, one and a uh, one. Like if someone is coming on stage and holding hands, 
then that that doesn't appear uh, good to uh, the audience. And also, uh, we should be mindful when we are uh, speaking Hindi words in between. And if we are speaking, then we have to translate them uh, into English. Uh, so, a document has to be maintained in the evaluation. So, that is the well, uh, evaluation from my side as a general evaluator. I would, I would like to welcome uh, Postmaster uh, uh, Kritika, who is presiding officer for today. So, have a good Winner is 